Well, how do there, chums? Does I caption on the stews? And I got myself a lovely cup of tea. And today, chums, I'm going to be going over my wish list for 2024. So let's have a little sip of this. Now, what I was thinking, chums, is we had quite a lot of game footage prior to the game being released for No Man's Sky. Let's just jump over to this view for a second. Now, I've put together a trailer of the things that I would like to see come into game. So let me hit on up that trailer for the people in the viewer verse. Here we go. Introducing No Man's Sky Evolution. Desert and arid biomes. Fauna Physics Overhaul. Organic and lifelike motion. Dangerous fauna. Terrain overhaul. Varied resources. Planet to planet portals. Oasis and tropical biomes. Glass cockpits. Reflective water. Super Formula Fauna Water Interaction. Mega Fauna Overhaul Sentinel Patrols Fauna Environmental Damage Mixed biomes. Martian bog biomes. Mm -hmm. 
So there we have it, people. The evolution update. So I was thinking more of the evolution, really. I mean, it's a throwback to all the good trailers from yesteryear. Now, I've also put together a little mini slideshow, which I'll stick in the background right now. But I'm hoping to see the realm of glass come into actuality, or the void even, or the void mother. But I was thinking to add in all of this sort of super formula, perhaps they can't do it in our known universe, so maybe they could do it in the realm of glass. So maybe there'd be planets inside of this system that they could have that super formula. Now, if you're thinking, well, it might not work on the Nintendo Switch, well, perhaps it doesn't come out on the Nintendo Switch, or... If you do put it in the realm of glass or the void and you do add in all the super formula there and you make the planets are far more diverse is perhaps inside of the realm of glass or the void there is no base building there are no settlements there's nothing too complex and maybe even you can't summon your freighter so it is pretty much a solo experience going into there and maybe they could do it in a raid kind of fashion maybe you only get 16 minutes per time inside of there and maybe we could add in a giant space sort of void fauna as well that are massive where you have to take them on using a fleet of ships maybe multiplayer in there i know i just said solo but perhaps you could take in a fire team or perhaps it's a, a factiony type raid that you can do and take on giant void or realm of glass bosses or something i'd also like to see the story lore from ariadne you know ariadne went missing into the void completed so perhaps maybe you go on board a dark freighter inside the void and rest rescue Ariadne but I'm also thinking we need some more megafauna on actual planet surfaces more variants to what we already have maybe add in some new T-Rex type shape type creatures that you've seen in the background here but I just feel that the creatures aren't as organic or breathable or, or livable as what we saw inside those original traders hence why I think we should have a whole fauna overhaul I mean if you look at those lovely beetly type creatures that we've got and those wavy davy sort of dragonfly creatures they're beautifully animated I'd like to see that level of sort of animation and believability added to every single fauna type. And I'd like to see a lot more sort of planetary threat. So I'd like to see lots more aggressive, nasty, giant fauna appearing on planets. I mean, they could be indicated from space when you scan a planet. It could say this has got mega fauna on. Are you sure you want to land here or something? I think that could work quite nicely. I feel that we need some of that going on inside of No Man's Sky. I mean, whenever you used to watch like Lost, Lost in, in Space or any Star Trek or even The Mandalorian, pretty much every planet that gets landed on, there's that level of intrepidation. Are there any sort of scary, nasty creatures here? It'd also be nice to see maybe some of the home worlds actualized into game, especially with this whole Void Mother malarkey going on. If it is Loop 19, which is a previous iteration, they could put in maybe Beleron or even uh, the other sort of you know, Corvax Prime. Then again, that got blown up and it is now Void Prime. But it'd be nice to visit the Realm of Glass and maybe some sort of Realm of Glass city at the very least on Void Prime. So yeah, hence all the sort of artwork going on in the background here, people, to sort of depict what's going on inside my head. I used AI for all of this stuff. Thank you, Bing AI. It's freaking awesome. But yeah, you can see here lots of different purpley crystals and things like that. But also, that trailer that I put out there, I feel could add in a lot more variety into No Man's Sky. I just feel a massive variety update is well needed and well overdue. Anyways, let me jump on over. Let's make myself a little bit larger on the screen here, people. Might as well continue drinking my tea and talking about what I'd like to see in 2024. So there are other things that I hope come into iteration. I'm hoping that they bring in a little bit more sort of reason to stay on planet. Maybe even give us player driven chests that we can bury and then people can dig them up and find trinkets inside. You know, maybe you can put in some modules or something, an S class module, maybe three items in a chest or something. That'd be quite cool because we've got all the decals for the numbers. We could actually put on the walls like a, a destination of our base. You could put in the chest destination like the portal coordinates. I'm uh, not the portal coordinates, but the actual planetary coordinates. In fact, it'd be nice if we had decals for planetary portal codes as well. You know, the portal glyphs as actual um, decals. So we could actually put up portal codes and then set up our own like mini quests from our bases. You know, one base leads to another base by going to a portal code and it's got the planetary key. And then as you go through it, eventually you're gonna find a chest that someone's buried and put three awesome items in there. 
It'd be really cool if we could create our own missions in game. It's like Jason and Beeble and Survival Bob. They keep doing the survival type runs, the survivor, where you, you can't use your starter ship, you have to find a crash ship, all that sort of stuff. It'd be nice if we got given a whole player load of toggles that we could toggle to initiate something like that and you could save it as a game mode and then you could sort of let your friends hit it up and play through that mode. Because my worry is, if I was doing that, I'd forget one of the rules and it would go out the window and I'd think that I've done it. And they'd be like, no, you, you went into a station when you wasn't allowed to. You know, that, that sort of thing would really tick me off. But if it was a set game mode and I couldn't go too far wrong from that, then I'd be happy as Larry to hit that up. Heck yes, I would. And again, if I could set my own one, I freaking would. It's like I've always wanted to set up a game mode where you're just a git in the universe. So maybe you're not allowed to actually warp from a system until you've blown up three freighters or something, which would be pretty darn cool. Or taken out a five-star Sentinel Dreadnought or something, you know, and then you can jump systems. Yeah, that sort of stuff. I, I think that could work quite nicely. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, there's all sorts that they could implement into game. I'm hoping that they give us the ability to rerun any of the expeditions whenever we wish now. We've got 11 of them. Now, there are 12 NPCs inside of the Nexus, or Space Anomaly, whatever you want to call it. And when you talk to these NPCs right now, they don't do much. But they could offer you one of the Redux missions on, on your game save, allow you to run each expedition once per NPC, and then boom, done dilly and done. And, you know, Hello Games then could then work on their next 12, and then cycle out the ones that you find in there, or give them two each, you know? And then when they get to, like, 24, they got, like, you know, well, two each there. When they got 48, there's... You know, four each or whatever, whatever the map is. Yeah, so I think that could work quite nicely as well, people inside the view of us. I feel that Hello Games need to be putting in a lot more player driven content. So it's like at the moment we've got base computers, and when you go visit a person's base and you see their base computer, it'd be nice if you can sign a guest book and say that you visited, and maybe put in one of your bases that they can then go and visit off the back of that. Please come and visit mine. And it, that sort of promote base tours a little bit more, I think. And also maybe give some sort of rating system where you can say, whether you give it a five stars for look, five stars for say placement, five stars for ambience, that sort of stuff. So you can rate it. And then maybe if the players actually had a drop down like farms or just a point of interest or whatever, maybe we could do some sort of filtered searches on bases and then we can go and hit up bases that we're after. You know, that, that could work quite nicely. And also off the rating system. Hello Games could use that rating system to perhaps switch out some of the featured bases. Or at least give them a short list of what to look for other than trolling Reddit or whatever. They can do it all in game then. I think that would be quite nice. Also the station overrides to override a station. If it did give the ability to register a hub from that station. So you could say, well this is my system. I want to register this as my hub. Maybe they could, get, you know, I'd pay a fiver to register a hub on the Galactic Atlas. And then it populates to the actual web page and you can build your own hub. You can have your own like mini faction. You could set up your own like mini shop. You could sell some of your creature eggs for Quicksilver and earn some Quicksilver. So I wouldn't mind paying a fiver of real money to have that sort of happen and to give my own little faction, my own little guild, my own little hub with my own little shop of things that I could sell for Quicksilver. So I'm always making ambient Quicksilver because the only way to earn Quicksilver right now is to run the missions from the actual Nexus Cube. And after you've run them for years on end, it'd be nice to have some sort of ambient pull-in of Quicksilver just coming into your actual stash off the back of owning perhaps your own station and having your own registered hub. Like I say, I think a fiver would, would be quite all right for that. So hello games, there you go. Another little revenue tip for you there and something that could be awesome for the player community. And it'd be nice if those space stations were a bit more modular so we can move the shops around and have our own sort of like um, own unique feel to our own space stations. Maybe give a few select themes so you could have like a mining theme so it looks like a mining operation it's more gek orientated or you could have a hunter's sort of theme to make it more viking orientated or you could have maybe an autophage theme that's got a 
robotic arms and stuff happening inside of there. That'd be freaking lovely. Or a Corvax theme, which almost looks like how the stations look internally right now, but maybe a bit cleaner with a little bit more lighting control so you can change the different LED types of lighting in there so I can make it all red if I wanted or all, all yellow or whatever, you know? So a little bit more customization for those that pay that fiver for the interior of their stations. I think that could work a freaking treat, especially as well if you could choose an exterior shell for the stations. I've seen those space station type bees, hello games, that you've got, that you took it out of the game files, that you put in the game files, and took it out of the game files. Be nice to have those back in as well because they look fandangly awesome. And they also look like they tied in quite well with the Colossal Archives. Now the Colossal Archives at the moment, they haven't really done much or brought much into the game. I was hoping that when you actually scan the planet, the more you scan on the planet, the better the chart maps you get that get printed out. And you could tie that into the Wonders catalogue, add in a load more Wonders and maybe have those Wonders as being like customizable skins that you can apply to multi-tools or to your ships to have a more unique feel or maybe even add new skins for your armor sets so you could add maybe a best car type armor set yes so i could implement some sort of mirrored armor so i i still have the geck sort of outfit that i've got at the moment uh, or the viking sort of armor set that looks really sort of awesome but you can make it all reflective or you can make it like tron like so it all lights up or even make it organic like an organic living suit or something a bit like the gyber bio booster armor i think that would work quite nicely different sorts of skins for your multi-tool your ship and also your armor sets heck yes and so you could be all matching so i could get that tron armor like the led lines for my ship if i wanted or for my multi-tool or for my actual person i'd love to be looking like i was out of tron heck yes that's that sort of stuff I think could be implemented. At least I hope it could be. That's my wish list for 2024, people. I want massive variety. I want things to come back to do at end game. I like player driven content so there's more control with the player inside of the verse. If they are going the sandbox route, go full, full hog. I'd like to see some bosses and some big challenges added. I'd like to see threats added. Yeah, not asking for much. <laughs> Okay, so that's, that's my wish list for 2024. Oh my days. I think that that's a whole new game right there, isn't it, people that I've just asked for? Anyway, sound up in the comments. Let us know what you think of those ideas. Do you think they could come into iteration? I mean, all of that trailer footage that I put together, as whimsical and crazy as all this sounds, that trailer that I made is out of Hello Games' own footage. So at the very least, they could do that, you know? It did have the super former in there granted but you know all the all the trees and stuff back then were all wavy davy and they all did look different and all the rocks looked different and the terrain was more gnarly i want a little bit of yesteryear adding into the game people and however they do that that's however they do it i'm thinking maybe implement it in the realm of glass or inside of the void but you know if you've got other ideas put them in the video description till next time people goodbye goodbye and goodbye again i'm off to drink my tea bye